Hello everyone. Today I'll be teaching from the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 29. It says, God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, and which is the fruit of a tree, yielding seed. To you it shall be meat. So I want you to pay attention to that meat, church, because it is amazing revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. It is the good stuff. Amen. In the book of Psalms 145 and verse 15 says, The eyes of all wait upon thee. Thou givest them their meat in due season. Pay attention to that due season, church, because it is revelation. You'll also see this in the book of Psalms 104 and verse 27. In the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 45, Jesus is talking and he said, Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord has made ruler over all his household, to give them meat in due season? What? <laughs> Pay attention to that word, church, because it's revelation knowledge. Now, we know the tree has meat. And we know that you're going to be given that meat in due season. And Jesus is also establishing that word with us. That the wise and faithful servants receive that meat in due season. In the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 2, we see the tree of life. We see the tree of life in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 9. We see the tree of life in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. We see the tree of life in Ezekiel chapter 47 and verse 12. Jesus is the tree. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3 said the trees are trees of righteousness. And Jesus is the righteousness of God. In the book of John chapter 6 and verse 55, we're going to find out what that meat is. Jesus said, my flesh is meat indeed. In the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. What? <laughs> Did you hear that revelation, church? <laughs> That's the good stuff right there. You see how the Holy Ghost did that voice? He put that word together. And he and I tell you, he gave you the mystery. The hidden mystery. Okay, we saw that in the book of Psalms 104 and verse 27. That it, in verse 29, we see the meat and due season. We see in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 45, Jesus says, The faithful and the wise servant. The Lord will give them meat in due season. John chapter 6 and verse 55, we see that that meat is the body of Jesus Christ because he is the tree that is in the garden, the tree of life. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7 said, we'll reap in due season. Who gets the meat in due season? The faithful and the wise servant gets the meat in due season. Verse 8. We'll reap what, church? We'll reap life everlasting. Why? Because Revelation 19, verse 7, 8, and 9. The marriage supper of the Lamb. He gonna take us up into paradise and let us eat of that tree. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. And that tree is Him. Jesus is the tree of life. And the meat of the tree and what you're going to reap in due season is everlasting life. Because you're going to eat of the meat that's of the tree of life. Because it is the body of Jesus Christ. And that's why we're going for the Lord's Supper. Amen, church.
Amen. Now, it don't get no better than that, does it, church? And that's what we will reap if we faint not. Because we're going to be weary and well-doing. And that devil is going to do all he can do to keep you from reaping. See, he wants you to sow to the flesh. Because if you do, of the flesh, you reap corruption. But if you sow to the spirit, of the spirit, you'll reap life everlasting. The meat that we shall eat in due season, the meat that's of the tree, is the body of Jesus Christ. Because he is the tree of life. Because life is in him everlasting life because the book of first corinthians chapter 15 and verse 45 says the first adam was made a living soul but the last adam was made a quickening spirit a life giving spirit he gives us everlasting life amen Woo, glory glory thank you jesus Lord, I just love that word. That word is amazing, isn't it, church? It is revelation, knowledge from the Holy Spirit. And I love that word. I hope and pray that you were blessed by this word today. And may God go with each and every one of you. And may you be blessed. And may you be a blessing to others. Let your light shine, church. That they may see your good works. And glorify your Father who is in heaven. Let your light shine. Let it shine in the darkness of this world. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you, my dear precious friends. And I love you. And thank you so much for standing with me.